Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. Happy Monday to you all. How's your Monday been? I hope it's been as good as a Monday can be uh, today. Storm Dennis seems to have passed a little bit from where I live. Um, yeah, I, I've been off work today, so I've had a nice chilled out day. Uh, I didn't actually get up till about nearly 11 o'clock, which is like a rarity for me. I'm normally up for like half six. But it was nice to have a bit of a laying in bed. I mean, why is it though? Why is it when you uh, you do have a light and you feel awful? You feel shocking in yourself. I really do all the every time I have a good lying, I wake up and I'm like, uh, it's weird, weird. Anyway, let's get down to business now. Dimitri Cavari today has left Oakwell. He's gone to Swiss side FC Sion, if that's how it's pronounced in uh, yeah in the Swiss league. Um, I think. Pretty inevitable that Dimitri Cavari was not going to feature again for us. You know, we saw Struber's uh, thoughts on him, Pinios and Tiam, that they've all been bombed out of the squad, so to speak. Um, Cavari, yeah, I think could things have been a bit different, possibly. You're looking at him as a player, the you know, we, we know about him. He's, he's been here now. This would be his third season with us. You know, the relegation season, the promotion season, and now uh, half of this season. And we know about him as a player. He has had problems on the pitch as well as off. So I think Struber might have got to his wits end. I don't know. But, I mean, Struber's not been in, or at least wasn't in long enough to um, know a bit more about Cavari. We saw him, his last game was against Middlesbrough back in November where he made that error for the goal. And since then, he hasn't featured. Uh, I don't necessarily think it is just that. That I think the stuff that's gone on behind the scenes that we don't know about and probably never will. So I feel I do feel that I think I think if Cavari had a knuckle down a bit, got his head in the game, you know, not been as I mean, definitely this season as lazy, so to speak. Things might have been a little bit different, but unfortunately, that's football and. I do feel a little bit sorry for all three players, Pinios, Tiam and Cavari, because you've got it. I, I certainly see Cavari as a lot more physical, a lot more stronger than the likes of Jordan Williams. But it's not just them attributes that get you into the starting 11. We've got to remember that. Yes, he might be a better player, but in terms of attitude, attitude's key as well. And Jordan Williams, you know, he's had the odd game where he's been poor, but he's also had good games and he gives his all. You know, he tries, he gives 100%. Whereas Cavari, you might not necessarily get as much if it's not going his way or stuff like that. So I totally understand. You've got to look at both sides of the story sometimes. Uh, Tiam and Pinios, I would have... Uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have written, I want to write all three out of the squad if I'm honest. It, it, they're all, if they're there to, to be used, I would have used them, but it hasn't worked out that way. So, a, a little bit gutted for Dimmy because it's such a fantastic season last season, promotion season. Um, you know, one of the most consistent players for us, scored a couple of goals, and it's just gone completely down the pan. It seems to have been completely thrown away. So, yeah, a little, a little bit gutted for him, but, you know, it's it's. It could be uh, whatever's gone on behind the scenes that's caused it as well. Because I don't necessarily think it's the mistake against Middlesbrough that's led to this. I think there's other things as well. Uh, Pinios and, and Tiam, I don't know. I don't know with that. Um, but fair play, fair play to him. You know, he wants to play football. He can't. He can't have been rotting with us in. Um, I think the under twenty threes he were he were he were playing with. So he's got to be playing first team football. He'll get that here. Best of luck to him. Thank you for what he's done for us. Because at the end of the day, you know, last season he were a rock at, at, at fullback. You know, even in games this season, you know, at West Brom he were brilliant. When when Cavari was on it, he was on it. But there were games where he completely wasn't and he was shocking. You know what I mean? He were too inconsistent. I mean, I, mean, I suppose a, lot, a few of these players that are playing now are inconsistent. And that, that's been my point of, of, as to why we've let... We've completely bombed Tiam, Pinios and Cavari out the team when there's other players as well. But again, attitude and that's the big um, that's the big thing. So yeah, Struber's obviously doesn't fancy him, wanted him out. Um again, like I mentioned, there's stuff behind the scenes that we as fans we don't always get to know. 
Um, so I wish him all the best. I do. I wish him all the best. Uh, thank you for his services. Um, but I want to know your thoughts, guys, on Dimitri Kavari going. Whether what you would have done with it. Uh, this this uh, this deal, whether you'd have kept him or whatever, blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, uh, as long as uh, it, it, listen, I think both parties will be happy in this. I think Barnsley Football Club will be happy, and I think Dimitri Kavari will be happy. Barnsley happy in the sense that it frees up wages, and uh, Kavari happy that he can go and get first team football. That's my ultimate view of, of it really um so yeah that's that's all i can add in this one guys um just a little quick video talking about it what's your guy guys thoughts let me know in the comments below on kavari leaving us and uh, yeah i will see you in the next video thank you for watching guys you reds